I'll admit to you guys, when I first heard about this movie, I'm like, is this something that we really need? Because Breaking Bad ended on a perfect note, and then I saw the trailer. Yeah, bitch! What is up, Breaking Bad fans, Netflix fans, and welcome back to my channel. As I do every single Friday, I'm talking about the brand new movie or television show on Netflix, and fortunately, this week's movie is El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. I need your thoughts in the comments section. Is this something that paid off for you? Did it deliver? And let's talk about it with no spoilers. So after escaping Jack and his gang, Jesse Pinkman goes on the run from the police and tries to escape his own inner turmoil. Here's why I'm keeping this spoiler free. The film literally just dropped on Netflix. I want to give you guys some time to watch it. And I don't want to ruin anything because this show is so sacred to people. I feel like if I talked too detailed about the actual plot, it could possibly taint the experience going in, and I don't want to do that to people. But El Camino Breaking Bad movie is one that um, obviously I was very excited for. Now, like I said, I was a bit hesitant at first just because Breaking Bad, a show that everyone loves, obviously, if you guys don't know, it's my favorite show of all time. So I had this excitement level after seeing that first trailer and knowing that this was strictly a Jesse Pinkman story, which is all the movie is, but knowing that I was going to somewhat get a payoff to his character, did not know what route it was going to go down, did not know who was going to live or die, so many questions that had to be answered. Are there certain cameos in this movie? Absolutely. Who are they? Not going to say just yet. Did those cameos pay off? A lot of questions going into this film. And here's what I'll say. This movie did a wonderful job of addressing things that maybe you're curious about, as well as things that you're not curious about. It also managed to insert cameos without feeling too forced. Now, the only issue I have with a few of the cameos is that certain people, and it's hard to, it's hard to kind of bring this back to where we were at the end of the series, just because people have aged. People look different, and they had to do certain things to a few of the characters to make them look like this happened right after the show ended, and some of those things did feel off, but I managed to look past that because I saw what Vince Gilligan was trying to go for. He felt like he had to have these characters in there. There was no other way for the story to work, and I kind of agree with that, and it's really easy for someone to go in as a Breaking Bad fan and just love it regardless of what they give you on screen. Here's what I'll say. I do feel like a few people walking out of this, Breaking Bad fans, are going to be disappointed just because it is a very slow-paced film, and in terms of a payoff, you do get a payoff to the character, absolutely, but it's not the most climactic, action-packed payoff that I've ever seen, and it's not what a lot of people are going to crave going into this film. How did I feel about it? I really, really enjoyed it. I actually loved what they did to Jesse Pinkman in this movie, what they managed to do um, to the audience members who have been waiting, and didn't know that we were waiting, but who have been waiting for so long to see the payoff to that character, and it really is a character study. It almost, in a way, feels like a modern western. He is on the run, he is trying to escape, trying to flee after the events of the finale, and he's kind of closing off certain bridges in the process, putting exclamation points on relationships, on his way to what he feels like should be his redemption, and that's what it is. It's an epilogue to Breaking Bad, focusing on the redemption of a character that a lot of people love, some people's favorite character in the entire series, the only soul from the series that was really hanging in the balance that we did not know necessarily what happened to that particular character. The majority of the characters managed to get either an emotional payoff, some sort of payoff for their storyline, and even if we don't know what happened to them, we could assume and feel pretty good about it, right? With Jesse, he was the only one that I'm sitting back going, I don't know where his character ended up going, and if that's the question going into this movie, you're just wanting to see what happens to Jesse Pinkman, well, that really is what this movie is. It gives you all of the answers you're looking for. Now, if you're asking what happened to certain other characters that don't necessarily make cameos in this movie, then you may walk out disappointed. If you want to see certain characters kind of... um be prominent in this film and have the light shown on them just as much as it's shown on Jesse, then I don't know if you're going to love it. And if you're walking into this completely blind and you've never seen an episode of Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, 
I don't know how much you're going to get. You may look at it and say it is a very well-executed movie. It's a nice character study. But there are so many hints towards what we love about Breaking Bad and so many Easter eggs in here that I think a lot of longtime fans will absolutely appreciate. If you're a brand newcomer, then I would encourage you guys to go back and definitely at least watch the final two seasons of Breaking Bad. You will be somewhat confused, but you will be able to fill in the gaps as you go because of watching that. I think you will appreciate this a lot more. And what this movie does is it continues to flash back in time, flash forward in time, and it does that multiple times throughout the movie, and it leaves visual and audible cues of where we are in time when certain characters are talking. You expect that from Vince Gilligan, who is constantly bringing you just... Um, Really well executed material. He does that here. It works. I was never confused. I was never wondering where the story was going next. It was a very straightforward story. Some would say the pacing was a bit off. Some would say it's too slow for them. And listen, I understand that this is not going to be a movie for everyone. Even hardcore Breaking Bad fans are going to be disappointed because it's all really according on what you're going in here for. I just wanted to see a resolution to Jesse's storyline, and that's exactly what I got. And I just love living in this world. I love the Breaking Bad universe at this point. What I've seen from Better Call Saul, I definitely need to catch up. I've absolutely loved. The show itself is easily one of the greatest shows of all time, and I think El Camino was a brilliant follow-up if you have the same questions that I had and if you are a huge fan of Jesse Pinkman as a character. And of course you get the characters that you saw in the trailer, which I can talk about. You get your badgers, you get your skinny peats, and oh my goodness, just seeing those faces again, the best crew of all time, and the resolution to those relationships were just, um, oh man, chills. Jesse is a worthy subject of this story. His past is complicated. He is a troubled character. He's the perfect one to give a resolution to. And while I, I found some minor nitpicks, a few critiques here and there, like I mentioned with the uh, the cameos in the movie, which I really enjoy, but just the, the way that certain characters looked, and then a few storylines that maybe didn't move as swift as I wanted to. Uh, but this is a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed, and it's a movie that I'm going to go pretty high with my score just because it felt like an extended episode episode of the series capping off a few of these storylines that I never knew I needed capped off and that's a pretty cool thing to accomplish of course on a technical level it's wonderful as well the cinematography the the staples of Vince Gilligan they're absolutely in there I'm going to go 88 percent for El Camino a breaking bad movie uh, one of the best television show capping films I've ever seen it did a wonderful job just the return to this universe was absolutely perfect once again thank you guys so much for watching so many more Netflix and Hulu reviews coming out today and hey we have a contest going on so let me explain this really quick so you guys can win a $30 Netflix gift card so here's what I need you to do I'm a co-host of the Schmoes No podcast called Clicking and Streaming. So if you guys are a subscriber of this channel and you listen to that show, all we need you to do is leave a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. Then you can tweet me at the Birkinator with a screenshot of your review to enter this contest, and you can get a chance at winning a $30 Netflix gift card. This contest will be running for a week. I encourage you guys to do that. We appreciate your support for listening to that podcast and checking out these videos on YouTube as well. Thank you so much once again for watching, and uh, I'll be talking to you later on today.